our dumbbell front raise is an isolation exercise for our shoulders, primarily for that front head of that shoulder. What we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna grab two weights. If you do not have two lighter weights at home, because typically this exercise is gonna be a little bit lighter weight than some of our other ones, you can always do this exercise with one dumbbell as well, to where you're grabbing the outsides of that one single dumbbell. So that allows you a little more flexibility with the different weights for these ones. We're gonna stand with our feet to a more relaxed position, about hip distance apart, nice and tall, abs nice and tight. Dumbbells are in front of us with our palms facing us. We're gonna keep our core engaged, keep those arms fairly straight as we raise those dumbbells up right in between kind of shoulder to eye height at the top and then control them back on down. So arms are fairly straight. We're not locked with those arms, but they have just a very, very slight bend in them. Biggest mistakes made on this one. First one, biggest mistake made, not coming straight out in front of us. A lot of times I'll see people combine these kind of with a lateral raise and kind of coming out like this. We're primarily trying to pinpoint or focus on that front head of the shoulder, that deltoid. So we want to come out right in front of us. Another big common mistake made here is utilizing the momentum from that upper body, kind of swinging them on up to get that momentum going. Try to get as little movement at, in that upper body as possible besides the arms. Arms are the only thing moving here. Abs are staying nice and tight. Last most common mistake is getting the weights up to the shoulder or eye level and then just kind of letting them drop down. So a lot of times I'll see people go up like this and then just let them swing back down. You get just as much, if not more, benefit from the exercise if you control it up and then you make those muscles have to fight gravity as they're coming back down as well. So make sure that you control that weight up and you control that weight down while keeping the abs nice and tight throughout that movement. 